Welcome to WebWiz. In this WordPress tutorial, I will show you how to add widgets to your website. If you go to the website that you've created, yours may look slightly different than this one, but should be extremely similar, you will see that on the right sidebar, there are several widgets already created. That's the search bar, the recent posts area, the recent comments, the archives. These are all widgets. We can get an idea of what exactly widgets are by just looking at these. The search bar is an interactive widget which allows people to type in text, click the search bar, and find where that text appears in your website. Recent posts displays a link to your most recent posts created, as do the archives and categories, although their links go to different areas of your website, such as all posts that occurred at a certain date, or all posts that have been categorized under uncategorized. Now, these widgets can be removed, added, and there are several other widgets that you can add. If you're logged in, you should have this black bar above your website. Click uh, go, scroll over admin and click dashboard. Once you're brought to your dashboard, click appearance on the left sidebar and click widgets underneath themes. In this right sidebar box, these are the widgets which are displayed on the right sidebar. Here's the search bar widget, the recent post widget, the categories widget. There are also several other places you can add widgets, however, we don't have any there right now. We could if we wanted to, for instance, add them to the footer or the bottom of your website. On the bottom, we see inactive widgets. These are widgets which have been added to your website, but you have removed but saved the settings. For instance, if you added a uh, widget that had links on it, and you would drag it to the inactive widgets if you wanted to remove it to your blog, just in case you ever wanted to add those specific links again. If you were to drag it into the available widgets, you would lose the information you inserted. The available widgets area, this large white box, has all the available widgets which you can add to your website. Now, here we see a few of the widgets which have already been added, such as the meta or meta widget, which allows you to log in and find several other website um, administration areas. However, there are several which have not been added, such as text. In order to add these to your primary widget area, you just click and drag it into the area. Let's add a text widget. There's a short description underneath the text widget which says that you can enter arbitrary text or HTML code. This means that you could enter text like maybe you wanted it to say, uh, maybe you, instead of having an about page, you wanted it to display about information, whatever you wanted. Or you could enter HTML code to make it interactive or display some sort of HTML based um, uh, widget. Let's drag this text right underneath search and above recent posts. I like where that is. And we see that it gives us, uh, it drops down and allows us to insert our text into the widget. You can give a title to the widget, for instance, let's say, um, what should be the title of this widget? Let's put down about me. We already have an About Us page, which we created in the last tutorial. Let's make an About Me widget, just for lack of something better to create. In this lower box, we can add any text or HTML code that we want to enter. Now, you can either enter text or HTML code. You cannot enter both, otherwise it won't register whether you're doing text or HTML code. If you go to WebWiz, you can see that in our widgets, we have... Um, HTML code entered so that we can have these blue buttons here. That is how we enter. These are text widgets. So if you wanted to enter something similar to this where you wanted a button or something else, you can enter HTML code. Or if you just wanted to enter your text, you can just do that without entering HTML code. Let's go back and enter some text into the widget and click Save. 
once you're done doing that, you go up to the top left link and click web, um, the title of your uh, website. And now what we see is that underneath the search bar, we have created a new widget. Now there are several different widgets that you could add to your website. If we go back to the dashboard and go back to appearance, we can um, read the descriptions for all of the widgets that we've created that are possible to create. You can enter an RSS feed, uh, you can enter a calendar, um, you could put in uh, links like a blog roll which we've created in the blogger tutorials and there are many different widgets here that you can enter. So essentially what widgets allow you to do is similar to gadgets you can enter applications that are static or interactive that will make your website more interesting and more professional. Thank you for watching this webless tutorial.